was six to eight maybe anyway so we tried our old trick i think we've never done it with such light winds we're in this island called sip or in this group of islands called sip and look how ridiculous we're in six meters of water and that's super clear those are uh sea cucumbers there's lots and lots of them everywhere and check out the view sweet there's no one So today we're pushing the limits. There was supposed to be 60 knots of wind. 60 knots of wind. The maximum we've seen was six to eight, maybe. Anyway, so we tried our old trick. I think we've never done it with such light winds. Dead downwind, wing on wing, no whisker pole because we don't have one. There you go. It's not pretty, it's not brilliant. We've done better than this, but that's what this wind allows us to. Look at that. How much are we doing now? 3 knots. 3.1. 3.1 in how much? 8.5 to 9 knots of wind. Dead down wind. Pretty much dead down. We're dead on, down. We're on 150 degrees. 100. So okay. There you go. So today Ella decided she didn't want to sleep inside because it was hot. So she's a bit of a rebel teenager. That's where she slept the entire night. <laughs> she's still sleeping. Look at that. How cutie. How cutie that is. Our dog is so funny. So what are we doing today? A very polite sail. Because it was bloody hot. The anchorage, right? Like it was we were... very hot at the anchorage. We decided that we would get going, even though there wasn't any wind. Oh, even though there's no wind. No, there's some wind now. There wasn't any wind when we left. So basically, we decided that it was better to drift our way to the next anchorage than to stay at anchor waiting for the wind. Well, at least we're in the shade, and in a little bit of breeze there is, we're enjoying it. So, tell us all about what we're doing today. Well, right now we've got wind on 90 degrees, which is good. Very yeah, good. how much wind? 4.5 knots of wind. True wind. True wind. Yeah. And we're doing three speed over ground, so... Amazing. It is very, very good. Does that mean I trim the sails okay? You trim the sails like the trimming bitch you are. Nice. Thank you, Captain. <gasps> you called <gasps> me Captain! Helmsman. <laughs> Helmsman slash navigator. All right. Yes. <laughs> On the trimming ditch. Anyway, so we're uh, how long to get to the anchorage? Two hours. Oh yeah, two uh, hours. At this lovely speed, two hours. Another two hours. But at least we're not using fuel. We're not using any. Yeah. And we're in the shade and enjoying the breeze. Yeah. Bye. So we don't know what's expecting us tomorrow. Um, the forecast says 
severe to strong to severe winds, possibility of giant hail, eight to ten centimeters diameter, and maybe tornadoes. Um, tomorrow will be our third storm of the season. The first one was quite epic. The second was quite normal, and tonight it's starting with this beautiful light show that we would love if we would not be living on a boat. Pretty impressive. Um, so far is kind of far away. We can't actually hear the, the thunders. You can only see the lightning. It's pretty spectacular. Morning. Good morning. So how are we going? We're doing good. We're actually supposed to be motoring. Uh -huh. There was supposed to be absolutely no wind. We were going to motor, but John noticed that there was a little gust uh, of wind at five to seven knots, maybe. And we decided to give it a go. And then How does it get this? So we're heading to Havar. We're heading, uh, well, we're sailing towards Havar, but that's not our final destination. No, we've got some strong southerly winds coming in a couple of days, well, two days, and we're now thinking that we're going to find another place to hide ourselves. Put your place! Until the weekend, and then the weekend we'll start shuffling south again. Oh, look at that, it's now. Boat's picking up speed as the wind picks up. Flying along. Okay, so today is another very polite downwind sail. Uh, literally, true wind 4.5, speed over ground 2. That's the wind angle, and we are flying full main and our lovely code zero. Yep. Very polite day. We're kind of going the direction that we want. My partner in crime. Feeling reasonably hot. Apparently we've got five hours to go. <laughs> five hours to go. To get to where we want to go at this speed. And, it's, it, it, and what's the distance? If we if we were motoring we'd be there in an hour. <laughs> an hour? Let me see. We have, according to Navionics, we have, we have five hours to go when we only have to do eight nautical miles, maybe? Nine? Yeah, Wait. almost 10 nautical miles, and apparently we have pretty much 5 hours to go at this speed. So today Ella had 3 swims, a big walk, and um, this is as comfortable as it gets. Are you comfortable? Busted. So, what's the plan for this morning? Hold on tight. Hold on tight? Yes. Um, it's already pouring with rain. We're not sure what's happening because the forecast changed dramatically from uh, the last one we saw yesterday to this morning, right? Yeah, it was in the middle of the night. I saw that um, one of the forecasts said 32 knots, 35 knots. Yes. But now it's saying 20 something. Now it's saying 20 something. So we're looking at a, 
at tomorrow's weather, the 14th. And we have a convergence of winds. So we've got strong winds coming from the west, and then we've got these other winds coming from the east. And this is essentially the cold or the front of the weather that we're going to occur. It'll be about 11 a.m. tomorrow. If I go back one hour, you can see that it was consistently coming from here. And then it goes, comes through, and then it's gone by two o'clock. It's all, oh, it's all over the place. Okay, so the reason why it's all over the place is? Oh, well, there's rain and thunder and lightning and everything. Oh, look, it's gone. Absolutely not showing it anymore. There. there it is. Yeah. We got a bit, a bit of gust, but not much. Yeah, and all of a sudden it started like, it's raining. Good for the solar panels. Anyway, so that anchorage over there, it's exposed to it was quite full last night. And all of a sudden we just noticed that quite a few boats were coming from the side of Tolivia. Not coming, left. <laughs> And you can hear thunderstorms in the distance. So, let's see. Beautiful. It's been so hot over the last few days. We're just happy to leave the dog up front and let her enjoy the rain and the cold. The cold she is suffers. Hot still. Well, out there it'll be wet and cold, a little bit cold, I guess. She's getting the front row seat to the lightning and thunder out there. Yeah, she's playing the Scottish dog. She likes this. Well, we are anchored on the south of Kukula Island. That's the mainland over there. That's the next island. And there's a channel here, right? And the channel between this island where we're in and that mainland we read on the pilot book that is a very well-known acceleration zone um, that adds F2 to whatever forecast um, there is. So if you have 10 knots, you'll experience probably very close to 20. And if you have 20, probably very close to 40, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's an acceleration zone. And all of a sudden we can already see over there, see this line on the water from that line here, the water is calm. From that line forward, especially where that big power boat is, well, motor yacht, uh, you can already see the white caps. So there's a boat dragging over there. John says that he just anchored, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the motor yacht is clearly in trouble. I guess he was also dragging, so he's trying to lift anchor and leave and interestingly enough that motor yacht is the second motor yacht that we've ever seen outside of Portugal with a Portuguese flag we saw another one where was it was it in where did we saw that other Portuguese it was in um, in Vati wasn't it we saw another motor yacht super motor yacht uh, with Portuguese flag and this one also has a Portuguese flag which is quite interesting because we have not seen any boats with Portuguese flags since we left Portugal. Anyway, let's see what's going to happen on this anchorage. Hopefully nothing serious and hopefully nothing with us also. You see, someone that shall not be mentioned should be inside the cockpit. But how can you resist that cuteness when there's no uh, real danger? Ella, cockpit! Come on, cockpit. Look at the effort. Look at the effort. Come on, cockpit. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, you got yourself in that mess. Come cockpit. on, cockpit. Quick, 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 cockpit. All right, good girl. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our social media. Head out to our Patreon page and buy the dog a bone.